Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to learn how we can create a grid like this. Whenever you have the fifth element or fifth view, the it should become by default in the down. And just after whenever uh, second row is filled, then the next view is come in the third row. So how we can do it? Just after uh, understanding this video, you can understand how we can put it in the flat flat view and how we can solve it with the dynamic data also so i'm going to delete this code first of all then we are going to start with the new code so just delete this code and i'm going to delete this code also fine guys so now our screen is empty and we don't need to then so i can delete this code also so this is a blank screen now so i'm going to make first of all some style with the uh, okay so first of all just make some div inside our div and we can everything is fine right yes everything is fine so just give us some style with this box style within the angular brackets and i'm going to put styles dot box so with the box just put some background color okay just put red color here give some height like uh 80 pixels that's fine but here you can see that it grabbed the whole screen okay that's fine so now I'm going to take my style of a container okay so just put some more style here like margin equal to 10 so it will take the margin from the whole side and now just put the style with the container so here i'm going to write the direction of of the internal divs it could be uh, in a single row that's fine you are not able to see anything now so just put the width and here we can put like uh, 18 80 pixels okay i have to remove the course that's fine so you can see the a single div here so now i'm going to make some more divs just copy it and paste it okay so first of all i'm going to paste only three so you can see that in a row whenever it comes with the fourth now that's fine but the issue is here whenever i'm going to put the fifth so it you can see that uh, i have to reduce some high uh, so some width to show uh, exactly what is going on so you can see that what the fifth view is hiding here so it should be come here just after uh, the row is complete so for that I have to use one property which is flags 
wrap and the value of this property is normal wrap now see the magic you can see that the fifth element is come here so whenever you have some uh, dynamic data you can put them the whole data in this container and the internal box should be styled like this so I'm going to just uh, put copy and paste uh, but if you have the uh, dynamic data it will come automatically so that's fine so here one more thing we, we can learn uh, which is if we are not able to show the width then how it could be managed so for that uh, you can use the dynamic width so you have to import the dimension here then you can cut the code from here okay so we don't need to cut the code for him here we can put here height i i need actually width i don't need height so just put the height get the height from width from here and put here so now it should be the whole screen is there some issue yes there is an issue war now it is that's fine so now you can see that it is coming with the whole screen so for that to control this uh, we can use divide by 50 divide by 2 actually now you have to seen that they have half width but we have used some margin so if reduce the margin I have to use the minus 10 pixel okay I think something more than 10 that's okay that's fine so I can use here uh, I think it will be work with the 10 also yes uh, I give the margin 10 and use the width divide by 2 and minus 10 which is the margin from left and right both sides so now it should look pretty and we don't need to give the uh, static height so if you need to uh, more box you know one single single row then you can divide more than two and result like this you can divide by four when you can divide by ten that's fine okay divide by four is looking good okay so let's make some more box here So you can see that this is looking fine and good so here is the tutorial and with this method we can use the or divs or sorry views and dynamic data in a grid shape so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe our channel and please give a thumbs up on this video and if you have suggestion for our channel then please don't forget to write in the comment box thanks guys thanks for watching